Today we are going to get into classics and I'll show you how to make Gimlet cocktail. Hi guys, girls, friends and everybody else watching this channel. My name is Isis from Miami to the world. All my love, knowledge and everything. Welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to show you three amazing, mind-blowing, fantastic, spectacular, super, super excited variations of very classic cocktail Gimlet. Gimlet was a cocktail that appeared somewhere around 1930, somewhere around that time and it first was mixed with gin and lime juice. Or some people believe that it first was mixed with gin and uh, rosés, lime juice, cordial. Rosés is a brand uh, of lime juice, lime juice cordial, there's some other syrups uh, and it really has a long history but I'm not going to use its cordial today because today it's made with a lot of artificial flavorings, colorings and basically the ingredients that I don't want into my cocktail. For this reason I made my own lime cordial and you can check the recipe right here and I'll show you how to make this amazing cocktail gimlet with homemade ingredients and that you can make in your bar or at home very easy. And the first version of our gimlet today is going to be a very classic one. We are going to use gin, lime juice cordial that I made myself and you can find the recipe in my channel recently. And of course we're going to put love, passion, energy and a lot of ice. And it's very easy to make but it's a really very nice cocktail for summer because it's it's a bit sour, has sweetness, it's quite strong, so just drink it responsibly. And we are going to use Martini style of glass, and for this glass we need an ice to chill the glass. And let's put it aside, and now we're going to put all the ingredients straight into the shaker. And it's not going to be a lot of the ingredients, I'm going to use only gin and lime juice cordial. And first ingredient is two ounces of gin. Second ingredient, homemade lime juice cordial. I'm going to use one and a half ounce of it. There is a lot of different proportions of lime juice cordial and gin, but this is what I like. I'm showing you my recipes, the ones I found to be the best through the time. Straight into the shaker, love, passion, energy and ice and let's give it a good shake with even more love, passion and energy. Whew. Some more love and we are going to strain everything straight to the glass. You can use fine strainer if you want to get rid of those small, small ice pieces that get into the cocktail, it's totally fine. I sometimes do that myself, sometimes don't. It's optional, uh, you could ask your guest or basically if you're serving guests, I would usually use a double strain, but if I'm doing it for myself, I'm okay just with a single strain. And of course, we need a nice garnish. Usually it's garnished with a lime badge, but I'm going to do it a bit differently. I'm going to peel a lime peel and I'm going to spray a bit of oils, aromatize the rim and I'm going to do one small, very nice drink. Here we have a nice heart and just putting it a bit on the rim like what I guess your guests your friends would really love it cheers guys enjoy second our gimlet version today is going to be also very simple but a bit different because this time we're going to use vodka and I'm going to show you how to make vodka mint gimlet 
It's very easy, nothing complicated, just a couple more ingredients. And I'm going to serve everything in Martina style, let glass glass. And for that, we need an ice to chill the glass. And let's put it aside, everything will be in the shaker. So, this time I'm going to take a couple springs of mint. This is not the most fresh. It's very hot so it gets bad very quick, but it's still good to use in the cocktail as we are not going to garnish with it. We are going to use it just to take the flavor out of the mint. And first thing what you need to do when you're doing cocktails with mint, you have to domesticate the mint. And how to do it, you can check right here in this link. This is domesticated mint, I already did that before taking this video, so I can go straight to the action. So the first thing what I'm doing now, I'm just banging this mint a bit, just to make this cocktail a bit naughty. And the first ingredient is vodka, good quality vodka, and we are using two ounces of good quality vodka. Straight from the mint. I also love to stir herbs with spirit a bit, just to extract more flavor to the spirit, because spirit is uh, really absorbing the flavors quite fast because it's strong thing. The stronger the spirit, the faster it absorbs the flavors. So I just stir it for a couple of seconds, and now I'm pouring all the rest of the ingredients, and this is only one. The same lime juice cordial that I already told you, I made it at home and you can check in my channel how to do it as well. One and a half ounce. The proportions are the same like with the first classic version, just this time we are using mint and we are using vodka instead of gin. Let's get full shaker of ice, how you want to do it, a magic way or a regular way? I will do it in the magic way. I like the magic way. And now, love, passion, energy, and good energetic, full of love, shake. <laughs> Some decorations, with more love. Oh, I already smell the mint, discharge the glass of ice and let's strain this cocktail to the glass. Now I usually use only regular strainer, I don't use fine strainer, never, because I like some pieces of mint to get in the cocktail. But if you want to get rid of all mint pieces and all small ice pieces, use fine strainer, it's totally fine. But I love these green things as a decoration, as a part of decoration as well. Cocktail is in the glass and now small garnish. Very small, just a couple of details. I made these nice hearts from lime peel and I'm going to put them on the cocktail. Even sometimes they dive into the cocktail. I believe your guests would appreciate that. Nice small touch of more love into your cocktail. Cheers. Third version of Gimlet today, ladies and gentlemen, is going to be very exotic and very drunk. Because so I'm going to use this amazing Awa Hachasa instead of gin or vodka, I'm going to use this very beautiful, very nice homemade banana cordial. And how to make this cordial? Check this link, it's really amazing. It blown my mind when I made it and tasted it. And I'm going to use a bit of Antelmixologist Tropical Bitter. This nice presentation and very nice bitter inside. Everything to the coupe glass, let's chill it. Put aside and let's put everything into the shake. So, first ingredient, this amazing, this circa chassis is really amazing. And by the way guys, I made a tasting of, of this brand Cachasas because we have a very big range of them. You can check it right here and I'm not doing an ad for them. I'm definitely not doing it, but 
it's so beautiful product that I'm so happy and excited to share it with you because it rarely happens when I really find such an amazing product in the market. There are a lot of good products, but great product is a bit less. <laughs> Let's do it. Two ounces of our cachaça prata into the shaker. Second ingredient is this amazing homemade banana cordial, one and a half ounce. And to give it a bit more tropic inside, I'm going to use a couple drops of this Antimixologist Tropical Bitter. One, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> Okay, I think it won't be bad. It even might be better. Some ice and love, passion and energy. And let's give it a good shake. Whew. Smells amazingly. Let's dish out the ice. And I'm already so excited to drink this cocktail that I can't wait. And a garnish. This time I'm going to garnish this cocktail with these beautiful baby dried bananas. I love them so much, so when I get a chance to garnish something with them, I'm really excited. I'm going to use two, <laughs> because one is never enough. Just like that on the rim. Whew, this is an amazing cocktail guys. Cheers! Thank you guys for watching this video. I hope I gave you some ideas how you can twist this amazing classic cocktail called Gimlet. And I know that some of you even have even more amazing ideas. So I always ask, please share in the comments below. Write your recipes of your amazing Gimlet cocktails and I would really love to try these cocktails. And please show me some support, subscribe my channel, like this video, share with your friends and I'm sending you all my love, passion, energy my knowledge, my experience, and this is just the small things that I'm asking from you. So thank you very much, enjoy your cocktail, enjoy your life, and I'll see you in next video.